read all of her books. They are fantastic. I read her book on the Museum of Extraordinary Things last year, and it was one of my favorites of the year. And I always, I'm a librarian, so I always recommend it to people. The Dove Keepers was the most recent one that I read, and I've given it to quite a few people. You know, I think my readers respond to different books. Some respond the most to the Dove Keepers. Some respond the most to Practical Magic. Um, I think it's just different for everyone. The Marriage of Opposites is really inspired by a visit I made to Williams College Museum. There was a Pizarro show, and I learned things about him that I had never known. I didn't know he was Jewish, I didn't know that he was from St. Thomas, and the more I read, the more interested I became in his mother, Rachel Pizarro. I think what attracted me to Rachel Pizarro is that I felt like she was the woman I wish I could be. She was very strong, she was very independent. She did as she pleased. Um, I think she was a great mother. Um, and I think she is the reason that Camille Pizarro became a great artist and became really the father of Impressionism. I think the community in St. Thomas at the time when Rachel Pizarro was young especially, was a really interesting community. The Jews who were there were Murano Jews. They were Jews who had escaped from the Inquisition, from Spain. And um, I think there was a, a big search for freedom on that island. And the other great population were African slaves who had been brought there by Danish and Dutch plantation owners. Um, so I think it was a, a real melting pot and very interesting cultures all meeting together. And that, for me, was very interesting.